Hello. Hello, 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 Jonathan. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, five. Perfect, very nice. So, Jonathan, uh, well, you didn't, you wasn't here yesterday, right? No, that was like a year. So, do you watch the class of yesterday? Viste la clase de ayer? Or you didn't have time? No. Okay, do not worry. So, well, yesterday we finished, you know, some exercise, exercises that are in the platform. Okay, terminamos algunos ejercicios de la plataforma. But uh, we are going to continue with some of them, okay? Because we didn't eh, finish, yeah? Termine, terminé los ejercicios de la plataforma, pero me faltaron dos de los sonidos que no capté el sonido. Uh, yeah, it's, but it's about the, the unit five or the exam? The cual... de, de la unit five. Okay, let me see. Uh, because yeah, yesterday we were making some of them. Ayer estuvimos haciendo algunos... Eso sí los terminamos. Creo que no terminamos lo, el último, creo. Let me make a review. Déjame revisarlo mientras se los demás. So, let's see. Ah, this one. Este, right? El, el de What's Mary Doing, uh -huh. right? Sí, so, no, no capté el 4 y el 8. 4 y el 8. Let me see. Yeah, some of them were complicated. Algunos de ellos estaban un poco raritos. And let's see, el cuarto. Ah, watching television. She was watching television. Ah, watching television. Okay. El tercero era she's eating. Ajá, uh -huh, ese sí estaba fácil. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, ah, pues, dijiste que era el solo el cuarto, entonces. Sí, el ocho. Ah, el ocho. El ocho era typing. She's typing. Typing es esto, ¿ok? Typing significa esto, ¿ok, chicos? Typing es cuando usted está en la computadora uh, escribiendo, ah, ¿verdad? Right? O está en... Ajá, se, oía, uh -huh. se oía así como un sonidito de la máquina de escribir cuando Exact, termine. exacto. Uh -huh. Typing, chicos, es esto, ¿verdad? Right? Es como escribir, pero en las máquinas, ¿verdad? Right? Es tapiar, porque typing, okay. ¿ok? Typing también se dice cuando usted está con el celular así chateando, ¿verdad? Right? Typing. Typing, ¿ok? Todo lo que... Cuando se presiona teclas electrónicas, right? So now let's see. Okay. Uh, welcome, Maria. So, well, let's see. Uh, this is the last exercise that we had yesterday. Era el último que teníamos ayer. So, let's see. Did you finish this exercise? ¿Ustedes terminaron este ejercicio ya, chicos? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Maria, did you finish this exercise? ¿Terminaste este ejercicio? Yes. No? Yes. <laughs> Okay, perfect, very nice. Okay, guys, so perfect. So for tonight, guys, we have, you know, this is the last class, right? It's the última clase of this model. And we have the exam, okay? We have the last exam. So let me open for you. You know, the previous class, there is a, a before this, la class anterior, antes de esta, chicos, eh, antes logramos terminar porque eran bastante, right? eran bastantes ejercicios, pero aquí hay menos, ok, so that's good, ok, en el anterior nos quedaron todavía dos ejercicios por terminar, but some of them were really easy, algunos de ellos eran bastante fáciles, ok, so guys, here, well, vamos a iniciar tonight, so les recomiendo chicos que si no hemos iniciado que abran, la, abran su plataforma, ok, abran la plataforma para tenerla ahí, right? Or you can take notes, o pueden tomar notas y después realizarlo. Pero remember that tomorrow must be finished. Mañana es el último día ya, yeah, right? Hoy debería ser el último día para que lo entreguen, right? Pero mañana ya es el último día, ya es como un anexo, right? Pero les recomiendo que si pueden terminar hoy, chicos, toda la plataforma, um, if you can finish, that will be better, ¿ok? Porque mañana van a revisarlo, ¿ok? So, let's see. Um, we have, guys, this exercise. So, let's see. We have an audio here. Let me show you the screen. Let's try, you know, to answer this, ¿ok? Tratemos de responder esto. So, do you remember this one, right, guys? Teníamos, where is Justin from? What is this meaning in Spanish, guys? ¿Cuál es la, ¿Cómo lo traducirían en español esto? 
Where is Justin from? Any idea? Any idea? The, the, the donde is Justin? Exactly, the donde is Justin. And we have some, um, you know, possible answers. And we have this one. What is Mike like? Como es Mike, right? Como. We have as well this one. What's the weather like? Do you remember this question, guys? ¿Se acuerdan de esta pregunta? La estuvimos viendo. What's the weather like? ¿Qué significa? Do you remember? Yes, no. ¿Cómo está el clima, right? What's the weather like? ¿Cómo está el clima, right? And you can say it's cold, it's sunny, warm, it's cool, okay? It's raining. So now, guys, let's see. Let me try to play the audio for you, or let me open here. Let's see. Uh -uh. Hey, guys, uh, if you have any inconvenience, if you have any problem with the platform for doing exercise, let me know, okay? So let's see. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Your name is interesting, Justine. Are you French? No, I'm not. Are you Italian? No, I'm Canadian. You're from... Okay, guys, so... In this case, yo le voy a poner el audio. Ustedes necesito que... A cada pregunta, chicos, le busquen una respuesta, ¿ok? Con su notebook, con su cadernito... Vayan anotando cuál es la respuesta de cada, de lo que dice cada audio, cada pregunta, ¿ok? So, let's see. The first one, we got it, right? La primera, let's see. Stations. Check the correct answers. One. Your name is interesting, Justine. Are you French? No, I'm not. Are you Italian? No, I'm Canadian. You're from Canada? Yes. My family is from Montreal originally. Okay. Two. Vamos con una, Where's Mike? Uh, Mike? I don't know him. He's my friend from school. He's a little quiet. Oh, is he serious? Actually, no, he's not. He's very funny. Three. Three. Wow, it's really warm today. Yes, it sure is. And it's sunny, too. No, it's not. Look. It's raining. Oh, oh well. Four. Hey, Sue, how are you? Great, Phil. How about you? I'm okay. Hey, you look great. That's a nice suit. Thanks, it's new. Um, where's Ms. Collins? Uh, she's right over there. She's wearing a blue dress. Oh, I see her. Thanks. Okay, so guys, let's see. What is the answer for the first question, guys? He's from Canada. Perfect. Now, what is my like? Come on, my guys. Yeah. She's a light. Get but very funny. Okay, funny. perfect. Yeah, funny. He is a little quiet, but very funny. Perfect. Now let's see this one. What's the weather like, guys? Como estaba? Yeah. It's rainy, but it's warm. Warm. Hey. It's raining, but it's warm. Guess raining, guys? Raining? Raining is lloviendo, right? Raining. Y warm, warm es como caliente, right? Dice que estaba lloviendo, pero estaba caliente, right? Warm, warm, caliente, okay? Now, let's see. And the last one. Is Sue wearing a blue dress? Estaba Sue vistiendo un vestido azul? Yes, no. 
No, no. cheese and not. Cheese warning a sweet. A sweet. Okay, let's see. So in this case, yeah, correct. No, she's no, she's wearing a suit. Perfect. And we got it here, right? You see? Perfect, guys. So those were the answers, okay? Very nice. Now, guys, let me move on. I want to show you something, you know, because today will be, you know, about a feedback, right? Like to review all the topics that we have seen so far, okay? So let's see. Uh, perfect. Let me open something for you. So, okay. I don't know what, okay, so, sorry guys. Está tardando bastante, so let's see. Uh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so guys, let me show you some before to continue with the exam. So let's see, do you remember about this guys? Yes, no questions when we use um, a verb to be, for example, that we'd say, uh, well, we use the verb to be right when we are talking in positive like this, right? I am a doctor. You are correct. He's from England. She's very busy. And in negative, guys, ocupamos el verbo to be como I'm not, you are not, he's not, or she isn't, he isn't, okay? Y para hacer una pregunta, chicos, teníamos esto, right? Que el verbo to be iba de primero. El sujeto y luego el complemento, right? So let's see if I have it here. Yeah. So, guys, here I got it, right? Aquí tenemos, right? Por ejemplo, tenemos I'm not from New York, right? Esto es negativo, I'm not. So, negative, guys, teníamos esto, right? Negative. Teníamos que primero va el sujeto, luego el verbo to be, el not y el complement. So, por ejemplo, escojamos un sujeto. Let's see, um, you. You, luego el verbo to be de you, ya sabemos que es are, right? Are. Luego, como es negativo, not. Y el complemento, you are not, let's see, uh, uh, perfect. You are not perfect, okay? No eres perfecto, you are not perfect, okay? So, this is negative form, okay? Esta es la forma negativa en la que hacemos una oración con el verbo to be, okay? Otras formas en las que podemos decir, bueno, podemos ocupar el verbo to be negativo, es así, right? Aren't, okay? Aren't, okay? Y para she, he, and it, ya sabemos que ocupamos is, right? Is not, también podemos ocupar isn't, okay? Isn't, es lo mismo, right? It's not, isn't, okay? Like this one. So let's see. Now, guys, para formar una question, una pregunta, chicos. ¿Qué va primero? Dice que primero va el verbo to be, luego el sujeto y el complemento. Y at the end, guys, de último, se le agrega el question mark o el signo de interrogación. Por ejemplo, tenemos aquí el verbo to be, is, ¿ok? Is, sorry. Sujeto, she. Complemento a teacher y signo de interrogación al final. ¿Ok? Y la forma de que usted puede responder es yes, she is, o no, she's not, or she isn't. ¿Ok? Let me give you another example. El verbo to be, tenemos, let's see, con are, sigamos, are. Sujeto, let's see, you. Are you, complemento, let's see, a doctor. Y signo de interrogación. Are you a doctor? Eres un doctor. Ok. Like this. Ok. So, do we have any question? How to create a question with the bird to be, guys? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? ¿Cómo crearlo? ¿Alguna duda? Hagámoslo ahora o okay, caigamos para siempre. Si tenemos alguna pregunta, chicos, ¿cómo ocupar el verbo to be? Déjenmela saber. Ok. Because it's important. Ok. Es importante porque el siguiente módulo usted ya debe de manejar esto, ¿ok? El siguiente módulo ya es más avanzado, ¿ok? Y las clases, 
no van a ser como todas en español, ¿ok? No les van a estar explicando mucho porque ustedes ya tienen este conocimiento, ¿ok? Ustedes van a ver otros. Por eso es que es importante tener en cuenta esto, ¿ok? Si ustedes pueden manejar el verb to be, guys, you will, I mean, you will be really great. Van a estar bastante bien porque es lo más usado en el inglés, ¿ok? So, if we don't have any question, we can continue, ¿ok? So, let's see. Welcome, Jose. Welcome. So, guys, let's, okay. So, here I have, you know, this conversation. So, for example, aquí tengo, what's your name? My name is Tim. Are your parents in Peru? No, they are not in Peru. They are in Canada. Okay, guys, let's focus on this. Esta es una pregunta con el verbo to be, right? Tenemos, are your parents? Your parents, tus padres. Este es el sujeto, your parents. In Peru, están tus padres en Peru. No, they are not. In Peru, ellos no están en Perú. Punto. They are in Canada. Ellos están en Canadá. Perfect. So now we have this one, guys. Tenemos aquí y dice, no, they are not from England. They are from Australia. So, ¿cómo sería aquí, chicos, la respuesta? Yes. So let's see. Porque ocupamos they, right? Aquí estamos ocupando they. So let's see. Estamos hablando aquí parents, right? Your parents. So are your parents, okay? Are your parents from England? Okay. Y el question mark, okay? Aquí your parents, okay? Your parents es el sujeto, okay? Are your parents from England? No, they are not. Ellos no son de Inglaterra. Ellos son de Australia, okay? Now let's see this one. We are from New York. ¿Cuál creen que sería? ¿Cómo se formaría si yo les pregunto? Uh, ¿Son ellos de New York? ¿Cómo sería, chicos? Where are you from? Where are you from? Okay. Yeah, but in this case, um, son yes or no question. Son preguntas solo con el verbo to be. So let's see. En este caso sería are, okay, tenemos verbo to be. They, ellos. Are they from New York? Or, well, in this case, it's you, right? We are from New York. Are you? Yes, yeah, sorry, it's you, right? Are you from New York? Aquí son de New York. Okay, aquí la pregunta es como uh, si ustedes, bueno, tú con tus padres son de New York. Ustedes responden, we are from New York. So you see? Now let's see this one, guys. Tenemos esta. I think she's 22. ¿Cuál creen que es esta pregunta? How old is she? How old is she? Perfect. So here, guys, we are using WS question, right? How old is she? Sorry, Kim. Okay. And now this one. No, my first language is in Spanish. It's Portuguese. What do you think? Timon. Excuse <laughs> Sorry. Is your first language Spanish? Spanish, okay. Is your first language Spanish? Say no interrogation, right? No, my first language isn't or is not Spanish. It's Portuguese. And this one, yes, I'm Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. What do you think? Are you Japanese? Are you Japanese? Perfect. So, nice. Okay. So, guys, here, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, in this one, guys. Sorry, my, no leí bien. So, aquí, guys, me está diciendo que ellos son de New York. So, ¿cómo le preguntan a alguien de dónde es? 
Exactly, como bien dicho, es where, right? De dónde, where are you from? De dónde eres, right? Where are you from? Borramos esto. Where are you from? Where are you from, okay? Dolly's question, verb to be, and the rest, right? So let's see. So you see, guys, here we have it. Is your first language Spanish? Where are you from? Are you Japanese? Are they, well, aquí ya no ocupamos parents. Aquí vamos a ocupar they. Entonces, la máquina me dice que ocupamos they, okay? They. So, like this one, okay? So, now, guys, let me show you something else. Déjenme mostrarles algo más. So, let's see. Here I have it, okay? So, bueno, teníamos esto, right, chicos? Teníamos verbo to be. Now, guys, let me move on, okay? Teníamos... This one, but now let's add something extra. So, guys, cuando hacemos una doble equation, una pregunta bastante fácil, ok, chicos. Para formar una doble equation, ya las podemos, right, chicos? Son what, when, how, why, right? ¿Nos acordamos? Yes. So, let's see. In this case, chicos, let's focus in this one, ok? Enfoquémonos en esto, ok? So let, let me delete this one. So tenemos, chicos, que para formar una doble equation, primero tenemos la doble equation, right? Primero tenemos que agregarla. So let's see. Uh, give me a doble equation, guys. Denme una doble equation, please. Where are you from? Okay, where? Where? Okay, el verbo, verbo to be, right? Are, sujeto, you, right? Y complemento, from, digamos, from. Y signo de interrogación, question mark. Where are you from? Now let's see, give me another, give me solo una de estas, okay? De la W question. Tenemos where, what, when, why, how. Give me one, guys, dime una. When is your birthday? When, okay, when. So tenemos when. When significa cuando, right? When, verbo to be, is, ahora sujeto. Aquí, chicos, como vamos a eh, utilizar un posesivo, vamos a poner your birthday, okay? Birthday. ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Okay? When is your birthday? Nos acordamos de estos, right, guys? De los posesivos. Your es de tú, right? Tú, tú, ¿ok? Este es el pronombre, este es el posesivo de you, right? Your, tú. So, o por ejemplo, when is her birthday? Su de ella, ¿se acuerdan? Her, ¿ok? Like this one. So, perfect, guys. Let's see, let me show you something else para que nos volvamos a acordar the last WH question, guys. So let's see. I have it, this one here. So guys, lo que vamos a identificar aquí es para cuando ocupamos cada una de esas WH questions, okay? So let's see. Tenemos WH question here. Tenemos things or action, para cosas o acciones. ¿Cuál creen que sería, chicos? Ocupamos cuál de estas para decir things or action, cosas o acciones. What, guys? What do you think? Okay, for example, guys, si les hago la pregunta, what are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? It's an action, right, guys? And what if I say, what is the correct answer? So it's a thing, right? It's una cosa. What is the correct answer? So es what, okay, guys? Para cosas o acciones ocupamos what, okay? So now let's see. Okay, so this one say, in what ways or manners? The, in que, uh, de qué formas o maneras, right? So here we have an example. 
cuando nos queremos referir como a, a, la, a las cosas, ¿vale? a las formas o cómo están las cosas. So, ¿cómo? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo están las cosas? Utilizamos how. How significa cómo, ¿ok? So, now let's see this one, ¿ok? Time. ¿Cuándo utilizamos algo del tiempo? Cuando hablamos del tiempo, guys. So, we have an We, for example, when is your birthday? Cuando es tu cumpleaños. Okay, eso es tiempo, right? Cuando. Y cuando in English is when, right? When. Cuando. Perfect. Now, let's see. This is probably new for you, okay, guys? Esto probablemente es nuevo para ustedes. So, it's frequency, frecuencia. So, guys, cuando hacemos una pregunta de frecuencia, siempre va a ser esta, okay? How often? Okay, how often? But this is new, okay? Esto es algo nuevo. No se preocupen, in the next module van a ver esto, okay? En el siguiente módulo van a ver cómo usar how often, okay? Pero un adelanto es para preguntarles qué tan frecuente hacen algo, okay? Por ejemplo, how often do you eat pupusas, okay? ¿Cuán, ¿Qué tan frecuente comes pupusas, right? Or how often do you do exercise? How often do you go to a school How often do you study English? ¿Qué tan a menudo o qué tan frecuente haces, right? Eso significa how often, okay? Now let's see. We have person, okay? Cuando nos referimos a una persona, chicos, vamos a utilizar who, okay? Who, who significa quién, okay? Quién. Siempre nos referimos who a una persona, okay? Who. Now let's see. Okay, reason or purpose. Okay, para una razón o propósito, chicos, vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, why. Vamos a utilizar why. Why means por qué, okay? Why, for example, why are you watching TV? ¿Por qué estás viendo televisión? Why are you studying English? ¿Por qué estás estudiando inglés? ¿Por qué propósito? Hay razón. Why, por qué, ok? And the last one, guys, see, la última, the most common that you know is where, ok? Where, ya sabemos que es de un lugar, right? A place, un lugar, right? Place. So perfect, guys. So let's see, do we have questions so far? Tenemos alguna pregunta, chicos, acerca de W's question? Yes, no. Yes, no. Everything is clear. Todo está claro hasta ahorita. Yes. Okay. Nice, guys. So let's see. Let me share you. Now, guys, I have something for you. So let's see. Uh, guys, do you remember that we were talking, you know, during the classes about adjectives, right? Do you remember, for example, my friend is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. Do you remember? This kind of adjectives, right? Adjetivos. So, como describíamos a la persona, right? So, she's a little heavy. She's really friendly. Okay? Do we remember, guys? ¿Nos acordamos? Aquí teníamos estos, right? Estos adjectives, right? So, you know, guys, let me... Well, here we have this, right? Para el tamaño, tall, medium, high, short, para la edad, old, middle age, young, hair, el color del pelo, right, brown, dark, red, fair or blonde, el estilo del pelo, right, speaky, curly, wavy, straight, long, short, bold, right, so, Here, guys, we have how to, you know, how to use adjectives. So, ¿cómo ocupa los adjetivos? Primero teníamos el sujeto, right? Luego iba el verbo to be y el adjetivo. So, teníamos esto, right? Sujeto, my mother. Verb to be, is, ¿verdad? Porque es she. Y el adjective, beautiful. Teníamos um, pretty, right? My friend is handsome, my father. Aquí, chicos, ocupábamos has, right? Nos acordamos cuando ocupamos has, chicos. Do you remember? ¿Cuándo es que utilizamos has? 
¿Ya? Para nombres posesivos. Ya, yeah, para posesivos. Ya, yeah, for example, guys. Teníamos que para el pelo, right? My father has black hair, right? My friend has, uh, let's see, red hair. My mother has long hair, right? Brown long hair, right? Like this. También lo mencionábamos para los ojos, right? So, my father has brown eyes. My father has green eyes. My mother has blue eyes. También lo decíamos para la cara, right, chicos? La forma de la cara, right? So, my mother has a round face. Okay, una cara redonda. My father has a mo mustache, okay? Bigote, a mustache, okay? So, in that way, we use has, okay? Lo ocupábamos para el pelo, la forma de la cara y los ojos, okay? Has. De ahí para los demás, is or are, right? Now let's see, we have as well this one, right? So let's see, guys. Um, let's see, Jonathan, can you describe your mother, please? My mother is beautiful. Okay. Ah, con eso. Uh, no, uh, you, can mother... use, you can use one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is tall. Is tall, perfect. Uh, Has uh, higher curly, curly, uh, curly hair, uh, curly hair, okay. uh, and uh, brown, brown eyes, brown eyes, brown eyes. Okay, okay. Well, with that so. So perfect, Jonathan. Congrats. Very nice. So now let's see. Jose, Jose, describe your president. My president is pink. Pink. Okay, I think. Okay. Is del, delgado. Okay. Mm -hmm. He has mustache. A mustache. Okay. And he has a short hair. Uh, short, ah, short hair. Esto, chicos, short. hair. Okay, hair. Hair. Okay. Short hair. He's all age. <laughs> It's middle age. Okay, perfect. Yes. Nice. Thank you, Jose. Okay, guys. So these are adjectives. Okay, so let me help you. Okay, tenemos age. Okay, age. Esto, chicos, no digan hair. Esto la A pronuncia como que fuera una E. Hair. Okay, y la H como una J. Hair. 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 Okay, hair. Y esta, A, yes, no sé, yes, right? Pronuncia como que fuera. Como cuando le golpean. Ay, eyes, ok. Eyes. Solo le agregan una S, right? Como cuando hay eyes. Ok, eyes. Now let's see. Maria, Maria, describe your, uh, your friend, your best friend. My friend is short. Short, perfect. Is uh, team team perfect? He has a child high brown, uh, a straight or, or this one, a blonde hair, mm -hmm. okay, blonde hair. Ruby, right? Brown. Brown hair. Okay. He has um, Yep. A long face. 
Okay, long hair, perfect. So nice. Okay, thank you, Maria. So, guys, do we have any question about adjectives? Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de cómo utilizar un adjetivo? Yes, no. Or everything is clear. Todo clarito. Okay. Okay, guys. So now let's move on with the third exercise. Okay. So how? So guys, we have here, you know, this exercise, we have only three, well, four, four of this one. So we have this one. Larry isn't serious. Larry no es serio. He is, ¿cuál sería lo opuesto de serio, guys? Heavy, funny, or pretty? Funny. Okay, funny. So serio, y funny es... Divertido, right? Perfect. Now let's see. Jen is a really good student. She's very. Jen es bastante. Es una buena estudiante. Ella es bastante friendly, thin, or smart. 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 Inteligente. Perfect. My teacher isn't sure. Mi maestra no es pequeña. She is. Tall, heavy, Tall. or pretty? Tall, perfect. Tall. Now we have this one. My brother is good looking. He is... Mi hermano es de buen ver. Él es handsome, interesting, or pretty? Handsome. Handsome, perfect. What is handsome in Spanish, guys? Guess handsome in Spanish? Guapo. Perfect, yeah, guapo, perfect. Now let's see. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me. Okay, now guys, let me show you another thing. You know, in order to make a review about the things, well, the things that, that we have seen. So, guys, we have. Do you remember that we were discussing about objects, right? That we learn about a camera, keys, cell phone hairbrush, a wallet. Do you remember, guys, that we have this, right? Credit cards, a gun, a mobile phone, sunglasses. So, guys, let's see. Um, we have this one. This one, okay, guys. So, let's talk about singular and plural, okay? So, this is a camera, okay? Una camera. Esto es una, una camera. These are cameras. Estas son cámaras, right? So, para cuando hablábamos de una sola cosa, ocupábamos what's this, okay? This. Y ocupamos this para hablar de dos o más, okay? So, what's this? ¿Qué es esto? It's an earring, okay? Earring. Mm, un arito, right? Cuando hablamos de una cosa, chicos, solo de una, la respuesta que vamos a utilizar va a ser it, ¿ok? It is an earring, ¿ok? Pero si hablamos de dos o más cosas, plural, utilizamos are these. What are these? ¿Qué son estas? They are earrings. Eh, son aritos, right? Both, ¿ok? They are plural, right? It is singular, okay? So do you remember this one, guys? ¿Nos acordamos de esto? Yes. So, for example, teníamos, what are these? ¿Qué son estos? They are keys, okay? Son llaves. They are keys, okay? What is this? ¿Qué es esto? It's a CD player, okay? Now let's see this one, guys. Tenemos, they are backpacks. ¿Cómo se hace la pregunta aquí, chicos? ¿Cuál sería? What? Are these? What are these? What are these? They are backpacks. Perfect. Now this one. What's this? Or what is this? Yes? It's a watch. It's a watch. Perfect. It's, okay. Cuando hablamos de una cosa, 
pregunta siempre va a ser this, ¿ok? And is. Y la respuesta, it's, right? Perfect. Now let's see this one, guys. It's a cell phone. ¿Cuál sería, chicos? Mm -hmm. What is this? What is this? ¿Ok? O what's this, como lo hemos estado viendo, right? What's this? Es lo mismo, right? It's a cell phone. Perfect. Now let's see. In this one, guys, what are these? They are... Not this. No, they are... They are... Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Perfect. Sunglasses. Okay. So, guys, let me show you one more time. So, this, right? What's this? Una cosa, right? What's this? Responde. It's an earring, okay? Es un arito, okay? Es un. ¿Qué es esto? El zoom. What are these? ¿Qué son estos? ¿Qué son estos? They are. Son. Okay, they are. Okay? Got it, guys? Entendido hasta aquí? Yes? Clarito como la horchata. Okay, perfect. So now, guys, let me show you this one, okay? So here I have, you know, some questions, okay? So I'm going to ask you one by one, okay? So let's see. Let's start with Jonathan. Jonathan, can you read this for me? Puedes leer esto para mí. Uh, the microphone, Jonathan. It is Sue's scarf. Okay. So maybe there are Kate. No, it's not hers. It's mine. Yes, they are hers. ¿Cuál crees que es? Not, not, it's not her. It's mine. Perfect. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de una cosa, right? Y cuando hablamos de una, ocupamos it, right? Perfect, perfect. Very nice, Jonathan. Now let's see. Juan, sorry, Jose, help me with this one, please. Can you read this for me? Who, what are these? Okay. What do you think is the correct answer? Maybe they, they are cuts. Katie's. 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 Yeah. Perfect. Tal vez son de Katie, right? ¿Por qué ocupamos they? Because la pregunta era are these, right? Esta pregunta es ¿De quiénes son estas botas, right? ¿De quiénes son? Whose? Okay. Now let's see this one. Maria, help me with this one, please. Are these Lisa is gloves. Lisa gloves. What do you think? Yes, they are hairs. Okay. Yes, they are hairs. Okay. Now this one. Whose hat is this? ¿Cuál creen que sea, chicos? ¿De quién es este sombrero? I think it's yours. I think it's yours. Perfect. Now, are these Peter's and Katie Scott's? What do you think? No, they aren't. They are. They are they ours. Are... Perfect. Now, let's see. Yeah, perfect, guys. So, you see? All of them are correct. All the ones that you gave me, todas las que me dijeron están correctas. Perfect, guys. Very nice. So now, guys, you know, let's continue them. I have here something else for you. So, guys, now let me move on to, you know, almost the last classes that we have. So let me share you the presentation for you. So, guys, do you remember we were discussing about ing right 
when to use uh, this one. This one about ing form. Do you remember, guys, that you know for verbs, a la mayoría de los verbos, chicos, le agregamos ing, ¿ok? Y a los verbos que terminan en e, le quitamos la e y le agregamos ing. Por ejemplo, dance, dancing, write, writing, ¿ok? Now, teníamos que también... Para los verbos que terminaban en IE, la IE se convertía en una Y y le agregamos ING. Por ejemplo, el verbo die, dying, lie, lying, tie, tying. Okay? And let's have this one, la última, que los verbos que terminaban en consonant, consonant bubble consonant, o consonante, vocal consonante, se duplicaba la última consonante y le agregamos la ing, right? So teníamos el verbo run, consonant, bubble, consonant. Run, running, duplicamos la letra, you see? La, la última letra. Now begin, consonant, bubble, consonant. We duplicate, begin, beginning. Consonant, bubble, consonant, swim, swimming, okay? So, guys, do we have any question about this one? Tenemos una pregunta acerca de this one, acerca del ING so far. So, teníamos esto, right? Yeah? Do you have any question? No? Okay, so... Tenemos estos ejemplos, right? For example, what's Victoria doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Victoria, right? She's sleeping right now. Ella está durmiendo ahora mismo, right? What's Marco doing? It's 6 a.m. He's getting up, right? So, guys, para hacer una pregunta, let me help you. Teníamos, para hacer una pregunta, con el NG teníamos W question, verb to be, subject, Verbo ING complement, right? So let's see. Double this question, what? Verbo to be, let's see, are. Okay, sujeto, you. Verbo, my, mas ING. What are you? Uh, let's see. Uh, cook, okay? El verbo cook, cocinar. Cooking, what are you cooking? Y complemento. Tonight, esta noche. Y signo de interrogación, ¿ok? Like this one, right? So, another example, guys. Let's see. Um, when, cuando. Let's see. Verb to be, let's use is. When is. Uh, let's see subject. Let's choose. Uh, when is. Yeah. She. Let's see she. So, it's a trouble. I'm sorry. When is she, let's see, okay. When is she, okay. Now verb, let's see, do, verbo do. Y agregamos ing, doing. When is she doing? Y complemento, her homework, okay. Y signo de interrogación. ¿Cuándo estará, cuando, cuando está haciendo ella su tarea? Okay, homework. Okay. Work. Okay. So, like this one. Okay. Y para afirmativo, chicos. Afirmativo, teníamos. Let me delete this one. Teníamos que agregábamos sujeto. Aquí ya tenemos un example. Okay. So, tenemos you. Okay. You, sujeto, verbo to be are. Verbo, study. Más ING. Study, right? Y complemento, English. Ahora, en forma negativa, chicos. You are, puede ser not o aren't, right? Aren't. Y el mismo verbo, right? Studying English. So you see? Like this, right? So, now guys, let me move on because we are, you know, running out of time. And so let's see, let's move on to the last one, okay? Uh, this one. So guys, 
Aquí tenemos some questions. Are you wearing jeans? ¿Estás vistiendo jeans? What do you think is the correct answer, chicos? ¿Cuál tiene que ser una posible respuesta en this one? No, I'm wearing a suit. Okay. So, in this case, is this one, letter B. ¿Por qué, chicos? Porque la primera no lleva al verbo to be, ¿ok? Dice no, va al sujeto, pero no va al verbo to be. El verbo está en ING. La segunda, sujeto, aquí está el verbo to be y el verbo ING. La última, sujeto, verbo to be, pero el verbo no está en ING, ¿ok? So, recordemos, sujeto, verbo to be, después el verbo en ING, ¿ok? Now, let's see this question. Is Mr. Sims wearing a tie? ¿Está el señor Sims vistiendo una corbata? ¿Cuál creen que sea, chicos? Sí. No, he isn't wearing it. Isn't wearing a tie. Ok, perfect. So, en esto, chicos, let's see. Porque estamos hablando de él, ¿verdad? Él. Por eso es que sería he, no sería am. Ok. En estas, ambos tienen el verbo to be y el verbo ing. Pero aquí está positivo, ¿ok? Y estamos ocupando un no. Así que no se podría, ¿ok? Cuando ocupamos un no, lo que sigue es negativo. So, this one. Now we have this one. Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? What do you think, guys? What can you No, they are not. It's, it's very hot. Okay, perfect. And the last one. Is it raining? Está lloviendo? No, it's not. It's not raining. It's, it's snowing. Ok, so, is this one, porque es la que sigue la regla, right? Ver, sujeto, verbo to be, negativo, ing, right? Aquí tenemos sujeto, tenemos verbo to be, tenemos ing, pero esto lo destruye, ok? Este no, al final no, right? No funciona. So, because of that is this, right? So, let's see. Okay, perfect. You see, guys, we got it here. Perfect. Now, guys, let me move on to the last one of the last. Okay, sir. Las últimas de las últimas. Okay. So, guys, this is the, well, the easiest one. Okay. El ejercicio más fácil de todos. Okay. Why? Porque les digo, porque solo van a decir la hora. Okay, guys, you see? This is the time. You have only to tell the time. Solo tienen que decir ¿Cuál es la hora aquí? Ok, solo se tiene que mirar el reloj. Este ejercicio es idéntico al que ya realizamos anteriormente. Ok, so let's see if we, if we remember. So let me ask Jonathan. Jonathan, what do you think is the correct answer here? What time is it? The first one, this one. It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7. And it's, mm -hmm. um, it's it's 6.50. 6.50. Perfect. Now let's see this one. Maria, help me with this one, please. With this hour. What time is it? Uh -huh. It is eight four forty five. Eight forty five. It is a, a quarter to one. No nine. Two, two nine. Perfect. Very nice. Correct. And Jose, tell me the last one. What is the hour here? What is Laura? What time is it? It's, it's 8.45, it's a quarter to nine. Okay, it's, uh, let's see. 
10.45, okay. Okay. No, sorry, what's uh, 11.5, okay. Okay, so let's see. Okay, perfect, guys. So you see here we got it. So creo que el tiempo, el dar la hora para ustedes es fácil, right? It's not complicated, right? Okay, so well, guys, with that one will be the last exercise. Okay, con este, ya es el último ejercicio, okay? So, well, we are, you know, a couple of minutes before, you know, the class is, you know, finished. So, guys, do you have any question about all the topics? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de los temas que hemos visto hoy? Yes, no? ¿Algo que no ha quedado claro todavía? Yes? No? Nothing. Okay, guys. So, well, you know, today was the last class, guys, or for ultima class, then. So, yeah, well, you're going, you know, to receive um, a text, a message, an email, okay? And van a recibir igual una notificación, chicos, de cuándo va a iniciar, you know, the next module, okay? El siguiente módulo, para que ustedes puedan seguir, okay? Recordemos que para... Continuar con el siguiente módulo, usted debió haber terminado todos los ejercicios, unit one, two, three, four, five, ¿ok? And this exam, y este exam, ¿ok? Y se tuvo que haber pasado con un minimum score of 80%, ¿ok? Con un mínimo del 80% tuvimos que haber pasado, ¿ok? Cada unidad. So, guys, uh, well, this is all, you know, this is todo ya. Eh, si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta o alguna duda, igual déjamela saber, ¿ok? Pero el examen y todo, les recomiendo que debe ser terminado todo para el día de hoy, ¿ok? Más tardar, ¿ok? El día de hoy. Creo que mañana igual van a tener tiempo por la mañana para terminar, por si no lo han logrado terminar, pero that solo, ¿ok? Eso ya es todo porque mañana revisan todo, ¿ok? Y van a verificar quiénes pasan y quiénes no, ¿ok? So... Well, guys, you know, it was a pleasure, you know, to be your teacher for all this period. Fue bastante genial estar aquí, chicos, con ustedes, con, con su grupo. Fue bastante bueno. Eh, este es un grupo bastante, eh, ¿cómo se diría? Eh, diferente porque fue como que salió así, right? Eran poquitos estudiantes, no eran bastantes, como normalmente son otros módulos. Así que esto fue bastante bueno porque eh, pudieron practicar, ¿ok? So, guys. Espero que todos logramos, you know, pasar todos los um, quizzes y todos. Y espero que hayan aprendido algo, ¿ok? So, see you, you know, soon. Sí. Nos vemos pronto, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. En la próxima módulo usted va a ser el teacher siempre, ¿no? Uh, no, I don't know. No, no lo sé. Um, va a depender si quedan conmigo o con otros. Porque hay, hay bastantes, ¿ok? Porque ahí es como que reparten, okay. ¿ok? Reparten los grupos y... No sé si en realidad sí voy a ser yo o va a ser alguien más, pero ya todos los temas que se tenían que aprender de este módulo ya los cubrimos, right No eran, si se dan cuenta, eran bastante fáciles, no eran tan complicados la mayoría, pero no se preocupen, en el siguiente módulo van a ver como un reinforcement, van a ver un poquito más de cómo se manejan estos temas y probablemente hay unas cosas que ustedes no entienden y que ustedes se preguntaron aquí que cómo eran, pues en el siguiente lo van a ver, ¿ok? So, do not worry, ¿ok? So, well, guys, it was a pleasure to be your teacher. So, have a good night, okay? Tengan buena noche y nos vemos pronto, okay? So, goodbye. Eh, ¿Qué significa Sulezi? Uh, uh, what? ¿El qué? Perdón. O sea, ¿qué significa Sulezi? Sulezi. Ajá. Uh, Sulezi. Uh, uh, es que escucho que lo pronuncia bastante usted. So let's, so let's see, creo que. Ah, so let's see. Ah, es como, mm -hmm. so let's see. Entonces, veamos. Significa como, entonces, veamos. So let's see. Como, por ejemplo, si let's go, yo les digo let's see, ¿ok? Como, veamos, let's see. So that one. Okay, <laughs> okay. perfect, guys. So, goodbye, guys, okay. and good night. Take care. Bye.